you know on board tanker so there are formation of uh, static charges which may cause explosion or fire so today in this video i will discuss about the formation of static charges uh, the reason behind their formation and the how we can uh, prevent it so now we will see the causes of formation of static charges on board tankers so first uh, cause is the bursting of the air bubbles so air bubbles bursting uh, in a uh, oil is the cause for the formation of static charge second is ejection of liquid or gas through a nozzle so a nozzle is here and ejection of liquid or gas through it is another cause for the formation of electric charge second uh, third is the creation of mist or spray so after uh, the ejection it may cause mist around the tanker so it is another reason for the formation of uh, electric charge third is the passage of the oil through the pipeline so a pipe is there and the passage may cause the, the formation of electric charge the last point is passing of steel type of sounding line through glo gloves and if you are wearing a, a synthetic gloves and you are passing a steel uh, you are touching a steel uh, a line and you are passing it inside the tank it may give rise to static charge so these are the important uh, causes which ca which can um, create static charge on board tankers uh, there are many other reasons which are not so much important so this now we will see the precautions that needs to be taken uh, to avoid the formation of uh, static charges so the first is uh, before introducing the alleged tape to take sounding we must give some time if the tank is loaded recently so if the tank is loaded recently the charges will need some time to settle if we don't give this time and put the alleged tape inside the tank then this may give rise to static electricity then the synthetic rope must not be lowered into the tank this is the uh, this is one of the important point third is bonding and grounding but why bonding and grounding it is necessary to dissipate the static charges which are formed the static charges are formed but uh, to dissipate it we need bonding and grounding of the flanges and the other elements an insulation flange is inserted uh, between the pipeline which connects the shore and the ship to prevent the movement of the charge from uh, shore to ship and last uh, but uh, most important is uh, training of the crew if crew is trained about the static charges uh, they will act quickly in case of emergency so this much is important from this topic and hope you have liked it thank you